Hi guys, Lemmy here. Welcome back to another art video. Today we are getting a little New Year's picture. I didn't have a super long amount of time to work on anything for this week, but I definitely wanted to get something out to you guys just because I really wanted to know how your holidays were. So whatever you may celebrate, whether it be Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever it is, or if you just celebrated New Year's or anything like that, I just want to know how your your holidays have been. And um, yeah, I've been so super busy, it's been really hard for me to keep up with my YouTube lately, so I really wanted to take this time just to kind of like touch base with everyone, see how they're doing. So if you have anything interesting to talk about, maybe you got something um, that you really wanted for Christmas or something you want to share with me or something happening with your family or you have a New Year's resolution or something like that. And anything like that that you want to share, I would love to read it. I read all of my comments even though I might not respond to all of them. I do read them and I do care about how you guys are doing. So. I just kind of wanted to make this video to kind of be like Happy New Year to everybody and I hope everything is going really well for you all. So a little bit about today. We are drawing Pikachu and Mimic You from Pokemon and this was kind of suggested in chat because I didn't know what to paint but I wanted to paint something with my gouache set of paints that I have. So. The gouache that I use is Holbein gouache, and I do really like gouache, but it's kind of really difficult to get used to at first, just because it reactivates really easily, so it's something you kind of have to get used to, and you have to get used to how much water as opposed to paint, like what kind of mix you want to make in order to get the consistency of paint that you want. It's also a lot more opaque than traditional watercolor is, which is transparent. So you have to add white to your paint instead of using the white of the paper, um, which is something you would traditionally do with watercolors, using the white of the paper as your, as your white or a way of lightening your colors. But when I use the gouache, I tend not to try to thin it too much. I try to make the consistency thicker so it kind of resembles more of like acrylic or something like that because I just tend to think it looks nicer that way. Um, but you will see me thinning down the gouache where the Pokemon are laying on the ground so you can see how different it looks um, when it's thinned down as opposed to when the paint's really thick. So the characters will have thick applications of paint, but the background will be layers of watered down gouache, so you can kind of see the difference. I also left the background a stark white because I use the white paint um, to, like I said earlier, to kind of make the paint lighter and whatnot. So I left the stark white of the paper because it really pops out. <laughs> like, it's crazy how much the white of the paper pops out as opposed to the white gouache. So I really just thought it was a good idea to just kind of leave it there because it kind of enhances the background. If I put any other color behind the characters, I think the characters wouldn't have popped out as much as if I were just to leave the white of the paper as the background. I'll talk to you guys next week in another art video. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Bye!